My name's Dave Smith, Gutenberg core team member and full-time WordPress contributor, and this is my guide to WordPress 6.2. WordPress 6.2 introduces Browse Mode, a new way of interacting with the site editor, which allows you to browse your whole site, including templates and template parts. Users can click to make edits, and a global save panel is available to save edits across all templates. You may have seen this navigation panel featured in other videos. This has now been removed as it wasn't quite ready and therefore will not be included in the 6.2 release. Let's hope, however, we see it in a future release. WordPress 6.2 brings a series of interface changes and upgrades. First up, the beta label has been removed from the site editor indicating its more stabilized status in 6.2. Template parts and reusable blocks are now colorized for easier identification of their synced nature. Blocks now have their sidebar controls split into styles and settings tabs. This is important for improved usability and navigability of the sidebar. The inserter now provides you with access to your entire media library. You can choose from existing images or access those from the entire library of royalty-free Openverse images. List view and document outline panels have now been merged, providing a streamlined way to manage the current document. And lastly, in a small quality of life improvement, caption blocks are now optional for all blocks that support them. The navigation block receives a major upgrade for WordPress 6.2 with a new list view based editing mode which allows you to manage your menu outside of the editor canvas. Users can modify existing items, add submenus, rearrange with drag and drop, as well as insert new items using an appender. If you're interested in learning more about this feature, then be sure to check out my full video, which dives into it in greater detail. There are a number of styling improvements and features in 6.2. For many sites, it's important that key site elements such as headers or navigation remain within the viewport when scrolling down a page. A new position control affords that ability by allowing them to become sticky. Note that this only works for blocks at the root level and template parts are not supported, although wrapping them in a group block does allow us to work around this limitation. Complex layouts have been possible since WordPress 6.1 using row and stack variations of the group block. However, control over the width of child items within these containers has been limited. With WordPress 6.2, however, a new width control has been added to child blocks, which allows their width to be either fit, fill, which occupies all available space, or fixed, a set width. This affords the ability to create more layout variations than ever before. The styles interface now provides inline previews for blocks. This means when you make changes to block styles, you can see how they affect the block immediately. In a similar vein, theme star variations can now be previewed in a zoomed out view. For any block that supports global stars, you can now push any stylistic changes made to the individual block to become global to the entire site. This can be found under the advanced tab under block settings. In a related change, you can now take styles applied to one block and apply them to another block through a copy and paste mechanic. This is especially useful for heavily styled blocks. Sometimes the editor just doesn't allow you to customize every aspect of a block. That's when custom CSS can come in handy, which you can find under the options menu of the global styles panel. Here you can customize every aspect of every block using CSS. Similarly, per block specific CSS is also available under the block specific settings in the style panel. Lastly, a global style guide named Stylebook is now available under the Options menu of the Styles panel. This view shows you all the blocks on your site, including third-party blocks, and how they will appear without specific blocks having to be available in the template you are currently viewing in the editor. You can quickly make global changes to design, including color, typography, and layout, all from a single location. For those who produce content, WordPress 6.2 introduces distraction-free mode. Sometimes when you're working in the editor, things just get in your way, like block toolbars, and you just want to focus on your content. By activating distraction-free mode, you can do just that. It removes all UI from the editor, allowing you to focus just on the content you are working with. It can be toggled on and off with a simple keyboard shortcut 
or from the editor's option menu. Those are the features coming to WordPress 6.2. But if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you check out this other video where I review the top five features coming to this release with WordPress expert, Rich Tabor. But before you do that, I wanna hear from you about what you thought about WordPress 6.2. Maybe you loved it, or maybe you hated it. Either way, let me know down below in the comments, and as a full-time Gutenberg contributor, I can make sure that your feedback gets to the right people. In fact, you wanna check out those comments anyway, because that's where I'm gonna be posting all the links to all the resources mentioned in this video, including the full WordPress 6.2 field guide. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more block editor related content, including in-depth guides and behind the scenes sneak previews. And that's it for this overview of WordPress 6.2. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.